Well, good day, Tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. Can you tell by the sound what's running? Gosh, I hope that's not the Ford tractor. <laughs> no, it's not. It's on the backhoe. It's not the Mini X. A little louder than the Mini X. It is the 2032R. All right, so this is oil change number three for our stuff. We got uh, it ready and just warming up there. And uh, it needs an oil change. We are currently at uh, 1,019 hours, 0.2. So there you go, just over 1,000 hours. And uh, we changed it last at 922, so we're a little bit ahead of schedule on this one, but that's all right. Might as well do her now. And uh, I still got some of the uh, snowblower lift stuff on here. I haven't quite got her disassembled yet. It can probably go any time, I'm hoping. Hoping it can go any time. But uh, let's see how warm is she now. Kind of hard to feel anywhere on the block here. Maybe let her run a few more minutes. Uh, yeah, it's not really that warm yet. Feel the filter. Uh, it's still cold, yeah, okay. Probably best to take it for a little drive around maybe and uh, get her warmed up that way. So there we go. We'll get her warmed up and uh, change some oil. 2032R. Well, we'll get the oil. Oh, I didn't put gloves on. Uh, can you grab me a pair of gloves over that bag? Well, maybe first, if I can, we'll get the filter. It's amazing I don't put them on that tight. <laughs> Holy cow, but they, they sure seal up good. A lot of gloves. There's a filter, shoo. 500 pairs of gloves I picked up there the other day in a big bag of these black ones. They're not the greatest gloves though, they do tear really easy. They're definitely not a surgical glove, but they work. If you're careful with them, they won't tear. But they're powder free inside, so it's kind of hard to get your hand in into them. My goodness, these are an extra large too and they don't really fit too well. Ah, okay, so that's loose. Get under here and... That loose. And we'll get that dumping out. So we pulled the stick, there we go. That'll get us a bit of air. And this will come right off here now. So I got a new one with the new change hours on it. And uh, three point ooh, all over the place, three point four liters of oil for it. And that should be good. So while that's doing that, oh, it's still dripping at the bottom. Holy! Just drooling out. While that's doing that, though, we'll get up top here and have a look at our air filter in this one. Okay, this is tight in here, but I uh, should be able to get her out. That's your actual intake tube. It's kind of rubbing on the hood there a bit. Oh, it is too. I huh, wonder why it's doing that. I wonder if this thing needs turned or something. The hose here is kind of rubbing on the hood up there. I just noticed this was flat here and up there it's all shiny. Uh, okay, so first of all, let's get this rubber band off. That's good. 
and then that'll allow that to move up out of the way here. And I'll have a look at this filter. It's not tremendously good. I do have new ones here. I'm going to grab my light though and look through it. All right, let's see how much light we can see through this. Not, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. So maybe we'll do. Oh, that's not gonna fit in there. Eh, this one's. Well, let's look at a new set here. We'll get a new set out. All right, so we got a new set here. There's the new inner one. We'll compare those in a moment. Here's the old used outer one, and there's the new one. So, there is quite a bit of difference here. You can, ooh, oh, geez, almost dropped her. You can see light through this one, right? Let's go inside where it's darker. Oh, that's actually in the, still in the filter, that's funny. There's the door and stuff closed, but anyways. Here is new, so I mean it's like bright, right? You can see light coming out of there and everything. Okay, here is used. You still see a bit of light there. It's not, I don't think, terrible bad yet, but there is definitely a difference shiny. You can't see any of that bench there. But with that one, you sure can. Wow, that's a difference, isn't it? I think we'll put a new one in. That'll be good for all summer then. Oh, look at the difference here though. You can really see the difference in stuff between the two of them. Pretty dirty. Okay, so yeah, there is the old inner one and the new inner one. I think I'll switch it too while I'm here. Might as well for the 15 bucks, whatever they are. They're not that bad. If it'll fit in there. Oh, look out. And the new outer one, if you wondered why your machine is burning up a lot extra fuel, it's probably because of that. There we go. Now this thing, I wonder if it's needing to turn or something. I don't think you can actually turn these things. It's kind of fixed in there, so I don't know. I guess eventually it'll just wear through that. Wear right through it. And This blue one's quite in right or something. I don't seem to want to go any more than that, so. And the rest of it's not bad, it's not full of leaves like the 110 was. <laughs> Sweet. That should do. Okay. Get this guy attached under here again. Good and good. Now there is a screen like the other 110, but this one's not so bad. It's not very dirty at all, so hasn't had much in this since last fall, I guess, or cleaned it. When we did our last one with all the leaves getting sucked in there doing leaves, but that's good. I don't think there's anything else really under here we need to do. There is a couple of filters for the fuel, one here. I don't even know if I've changed it yet. I don't have one of those. I should have ordered one, I guess. And our little separator here. looking pretty clean down here. I can see the screen and everything, so I'm not even going to worry about that one. So, I always wondered about this fuel line here. Man, that seems to have a, like a woo, a wicked turn to it, but it's almost like pinching it off, you'd think, but it hasn't ever quit, so. But uh, anyways, I think we should be good. We'll go, uh, I got the oil already measured out. We'll go and uh, uh, fill up the filter here first. All right, so we'll fill this one up. Let her soak in a bit. Whoop, almost took you out. 
almost took it out. And we'll let that soak into the, the paper. And we'll let the tractor drip out a little more. Get that pre ready to rock. And we should be good to go. We'll just let this soak in here a little more. All right, while we're waiting here, we'll do a bit of greasing. There's uh, grease fittings on this bar here. That's good. And this tractor that I was, when I was doing the backhoe for the pivot, there's one, boy, and it's hard to get to with this uh, lift on the front here. I'm gonna have to squash in front of you for a minute. It is buried way up under here way up under here and I can't see it and hopefully I'm getting grease into it oh yeah and that's for the pivot for the axle I'm not sure if there's one in the rear but the same thing as the other tractor the steering cylinder in this one does not have grease fittings on it. They wear out. And uh, we put one on this already too, believe it or not. And if I can get to it, there's one on this steering rod here. Makes it a little more trickier when the wheel's turned. That's good. And that, I think, is it. Yeah, that uh, steering cylinder has nothing on it. Isn't that awful? Oh well, what can you do? Ooh, a bunch of dirt under there. I was wondering if this was grease or something, but... Hmm. I don't know. And I think that's it for grease fittings. There might be a couple underneath here, though. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Alright, we had a couple of fittings underneath. A couple for these pedals. The forward and reverse pedals. There's a pin in there, I guess, and collar thing. Same on the other side for the brakes. I mean I'll hardly ever use the brakes on this. Only when I'm stopping and parking. So there was uh, one in each one of these. That's I guess good. But really there's not much for fittings on this. Grease fittings on this other than the drive and stuff in the shaft for that uh, front mount for the blower and stuff there but I usually do it a couple of times a year anyway so but it is due to soon come off, which is good. And how are we making out here? Still dribbling, but I think I'm gonna bring out the uh, filter here and we'll put that filter back on. All right, so we'll give this a little cleaning. And uh, good, there wasn't much come out of this filter when I dumped it back into the, into the jug of stuff, so that's good. Well, our label's upside down. That's all right. So, try to get some of this junk off of here. Well, this part will never rust because it's been well oiled. Every hundred hours, she gets an oil in, we'll say. Not bad. That's ah, not too bad, I guess. All right, so yeah, the separator looks pretty good there because, uh, well, since I put the, we didn't ever used to have a uh, filter on our diesel filling tank and uh, I always wonder why why the heck do I keep getting my thing bunged up well sure enough it was crap that was in the tank so we ended up putting a filter assembly on it and it's been good ever since there we go we'll put the plug back to her and tighten her down to 29 bill torque and we're good to go um, Got the oil inside here. We'll go grab it, bring it out, and uh, shouldn't need a funnel. It's nice having the hood like that, though we can take that hood right up and off there like that. So, uh, okay, I'll go grab some oil. We'll slobber in. All right, so I got about, well, 
3.5 liters, put a little bit in that filter, so I might not throw all this in right at once. But uh, if you do what I do with the big pail of stuff, get yourself one of these jugs. Man, is that ever nice. <laughs> you can measure out how much you need and uh, go from there. Be nice to actually have one of those things where it fatoom, 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 pumps it in and it, you know, oh, I just pumped in 10 liters. Whoops. But uh, I don't get that sophisticated. If I was doing more of these, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would make sense. Make her easier on yourself. But I uh, kind of want to cut the nozzle on this filler a little bit because this stuff's always really thick. And uh, it takes a while to get her in here, especially if the oil's cold. As it gets thicker. So you guys explain something to me, the ones that you guys know about oil. This is a 10W30 and uh, when it's when it's cold it's thicker where it's supposed to be thinner, is it not? When it gets hot it's supposed to thicken and not get thinner, but I think it does the opposite. So if you know what the deal is with the uh, the oil and how that works, leave a comment because it's always kind of puzzled me. It seems the colder it gets, the thicker it gets, but holy cow. You'd think the the colder it gets, the thinner it should get. But anyways, so we've got pretty much all of it in here now. We've got about a liter left. Let's leave it at that. We'll just put the cap back in while we do this next part and uh, cap will work for me oh my goodness there okay make sure the sticks clean and we'll stick them back in let's give it a quick little fire up and run here let everything get all filled up and contact so what I was messing with in the video before that's your throttle right there and that's your stop so you could actually change how fast it'll run this one up the front here you can see this one up the front. There's a little guy here. Let me zoom you in here a bit. Okay, so this little guy here, that is your idle. So the back one is like your full speed, and that's your idle where it'll sit. So you can adjust your idle if you really wanted to. I did on this one because it was running like 1200 RPM. It seemed kind of fast to me. So I turned it down a little bit because you can actually talk to people when it's idling instead of having to shut it off every time. But anyways, let's fire it up. probably going to be shutting it off anyway so I generally well I, I shouldn't say that I have ran it that low left it running for a few minutes while I got to run inside and grab something or whatever and it's it's not blown up yet so but anyways might have just had an issue with my camera a little it's got a, a shutter thing that kind of one comes this way one closes the other way and the top one I noticed wasn't quite open so there might have been a little black spot on the top there I do apologize Sometimes the Sony cameras get a little piece of dust in there and they won't close right and they won't open right and there's very, very little motor in there to do that to, to actually pull it so it just kind of gives up and if you don't catch it, well, you don't catch it, so. Anyways, we'll let this thing sit here a few minutes and let the oil settle back down. There isn't really much else I gotta do here. Boy, if I give this a good clean and this thing would look like brand new, eh? You'd have to wash it though. I don't think you'd be able to get into all the nooks and crannies with like a towel. So that's definitely going to need more oil. Because um, I've got about, oh, about a liter I didn't put in there. So we're only at about two and, well, two and a half, I guess. So that will definitely be adding, needing to add more. 
All right, let's give her a check here. I guarantee it's gonna be low. Yeah, we're down about the bottom of the stick. So we'll put a fair bit more of this one liter in. Nothing like fresh. What's the matter, Yoda? Chickens quaggling over there. Had turkeys mating in behind the house this morning. That was kind of mean looking, actually. He was like stomping on her. She didn't seem to care. What? What's the matter? Are you freaking out? Yeah, it was kind of funny. They didn't, uh, he, well, was on top of her and, uh, he was like smushing her like doing laundry with his feet and stuff and I don't know if they ever did what they were trying to but that's about halfway now there. I'll have to let her settle a little more though. Let her settle a little more and uh, I'll give her a check in a moment here. So while we're waiting, this is, uh, let you know what this is, this is a Yanmar, I can't tell all the specific details on it, but a Yanmar, uh, three cylinder diesel, about 31 and a bit horse roughly. Um, I, I don't know the PTO, you know, horsepower or any of that stuff out the back end, but uh, it's a good little motor though, never had an issue. Uh, the back is a Yanmar too, and it's about a 42 odd horse, something like that. So this one's not really a whole lot smaller, um, but yeah, it's a four cylinder, this is a three. Now funny thing is, the Kubota K008 little Mini X is also a three cylinder, but 10.1 horsepower kind of thing. Those pistons must be about that big in it, I don't know, they must be tiny. Tiny, 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 but 10 horse, three cylinder diesel, I can't believe it, that they actually put a diesel engine in that. That's pretty awesome when you think about it. All right, so we're about three quarters of the way full. It'll probably take the rest of this. Okay, what's the matter? We'll just leave a little bit left in here. And then uh, give her a set, second to rest and we'll check her again. All right, let's check her. Now I think we'll be all right. Well, it's just a hair bit down, if you can see. It's just a hair bit below the, the full marker, so I'm going to leave her at that, I think. If it needs more later, I can always top her up. They want you to have it between those two marks, so if it gets below that mark, it's like, well, you're just going to probably blow up now, bud, so you might want to put a bit of oil into her. But there we go. I guess that is about it for that. Uh, battery... Probably is all right. Looks like it's been kind of leaking a bit, though. It's a bit wet, sort of, sort of down the side. Now you guys have seen battery videos. <gasps> Ooh, that's something there. I should lube up that maybe. You guys have seen battery videos on my channel before, and how important it is to keep the tops clean because you can actually get power to the negative there through the goop on the top that will actually drain your battery out not maybe overnight but you wonder why it's always down a little bit well clean the top of your battery off the terminal isn't tremendously good looking but maybe I'll pop her off just to have a look okay so this battery is September 14 so that's what six years that's pretty good. Seems batteries now, if you get four years out of them, you're doing good. Okay, Yoda! Holy! Let's just pop this off and take a look at her. It should probably have a little cleaning done to it. Let me grab my cleaner. Alright, so I got... Uh... Okay! Let's just get this kind of... Listen to her, eh? <laughs> You're fine! You'd think somebody was killing you. Oh, that's nice. I'm there now.
nice and shiny in there and this one it's probably gonna need this isn't exactly a battery cleaner but it seems to work yeah that's not too bad okay, well we got this one off take off Mr. Negative. Always Mr. Negative. We'll take him off. And uh, usually they're fairly good, the negative sides. It's the positive side that seems to be taking all the, the goo. We'll uh, give them a... Probably know whether that I service this battery and looking at it now and stuff, it's probably gonna give me problems. <laughs> Actually, last wee while, kind of notice that it's sort of been a little slower starting too so it's probably getting tired hmm. yeah that's not too bad that'll do that'll do it's not a very big uh, ground on this wire either it's pretty small Give her, bud. Get right on her, bud. Jeez. Get get on her more. There we go. I think that'll. That's good. Solid. Solid. Okay, I gotta get a bit of luby stuff and uh, do that little hinge. First, I'll see if I can brake clean it a little bit. I should just get the air out, but that'll... Uh... I think that'll get her mostly. Give her a good coat. And all that crap will stick to there now. It'd be just awesome. What's the matter? <laughs> You're fine. Oh, I see what's wrong with you. <laughs> yeah, there are chickens out you don't like. Anyways, we'll close the case on this feller. I guess that'll do. Nice. It works. Sweet. All right, well, that's it for the 2032R. Uh, up next for our oil change series will likely be the zero turn. We'll have to get the battery out and put the battery in it and uh, get it fired up and take it for a little spin around maybe and see if, if it's all right. So anyways, that's it for today. Super awesome. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all next time for zero turn. I presume it'll be that. Um, that or the, maybe the two end, I don't know, one of the, one of the two. But we got to get that going, I guess, the mower going, and uh, give it a service up. So anyways, catch you all later. Thanks again for watching, and you guys have a good day. Someone's out dirt biking. You see him? Oh, I don't, I don't see him. Anyways, catch you all later. Thanks again for watching, and you guys have a good day. Oh, hey, I forgot to mention that I have opened up an Instagram account, an official Instagram account. There's many other Instagram accounts on Instagram that are not me. Just so you know, the official one is Bills T Max small b29. So small b for Bills T Max and then 29. That is the Instagram account. There's also uh, a link or uh, whatever you call it in the description. So if you want to go to Instagram, if you're on that, and uh, you can follow me there if you like. Um, probably give you up some things of videos coming up and stuff. Uh, I don't know, we'll figure something out to, to do with it. But uh, anyways, uh, small b, Bill Steam Max, uh, 2.9, of course 2.9. But uh, anyways, thanks again for watching. Catch you all later. And you guys have a good day.